Gospel singer Chris Yorton says, doing songs in English should not be a conversation if Ghanaians aim to break through globally. His comments come in response to Nigerian gospel musician Nathaniel Bassi's advice to Ghanaian gospel musicians. Chrissy Otten was also speaking in an interview on Joy Prime's morning show. His admonishment did not go down well with many Ghanaians. You are playing their song, you are making them popular. You are making their concerts sell out in Ghana. If this same gesture is done for our own people, or if this same gesture is done for us in their country, trust me, we wouldn't be talking about English pushing artists onto them. Front. So for me, I think this prophecy was inspired by guilt. However, gospel musician Kwesi Oten sees nothing wrong with Nathaniel Bassi's advice. It was a great statement he made. I it think was what, great. what Nathaniel would be saying is that uh, support songs in English. I me, mean, that's the thing I came to meet. When I came, Ghana was traditionally uh, biased, we were okay. traditional yep. music controlled. Okay. And then I emerged and the new faces of gospel musicians were emerging. Mm. Of course, now there's an international platform to take advantage of. And I don't know, sometimes we feel like culture is language. Culture has little to do with language. Of course, any artist with any language can do it. We must just now think globally. Yeah. And then if we are thinking globally, a subject like doing songs in English shouldn't be a conversation. The I Win Hit Maker also believes in and supports the calls for musicians to leverage the English language in order to reach wider audiences. Our music has been a barrier on the international stage. No one is saying that don't um, write songs in English. In your local diet. Yes, mm -hmm. add it. So let's just support uh, English. Very uh, interesting. Yes. Is language a barrier to going global? This debate may linger for a while. Juan Yamas report read to you.